I don't want to be condescending, but we see a lot of libertarians who have put so much stake into I am my county's secretary LP chair. Great. That's great. What are you doing with it? Are you helping elect local libertarians? Are you helping get people on board with the ideas of liberty beyond your echo chambers? What are we actually doing? What can we look for some KPIs and say that we've had some success? And that's where I've seen, and I came into the movement asking these questions and quite frankly, Josh, not getting any good answers. <laughs> I'm getting, well, you know, we have ballot access issues. Well, you know, we're facing, um, we're facing being blacked out in the polls. Well, you know, and for every question, for every, every probing, you know, question of why we were, were not going past the status quo, there was always an excuse. And I got to the point, I'm just, I'm tired of excuses. People want to win and they want to feel that they have a chance to take their ideas and move them beyond this kind of thought experiment, right? We can have 10, you know, 11,000 conversations in our group chats about how we can make Libertopia work. There comes a point, though, where we have to stop being like our Marxist friends and just living in an imaginary world and actually put rubber to road and start making things happen. And that requires us to actually get out of our own way sometimes and to get uncomfortable. And that means meeting people who are not libertarians and actually, number one, meeting where they're uh, they're at and helping find problems in their surrounding areas that we can address with libertarian solutions and show them that we're not just the people who are going to talk a big game online, but rather can actually go ahead and solve real problems right now. Mm -hmm.